Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this very dramatic red, pink, and purple nail art design. The first thing I'm starting off with is already a red French manicure with a smile line that's pretty low. And I'm going to be adding glitters on top of the smile line of my French manicure in a gold color. And I'm just going to bring them up about half waist. Once everything dried up, it's time to begin painting the little spots, the leopard spots. For my spots, I chose a hot pink color and I'm bringing them down half ways only down my French manicure. The next step is to just outline certain areas of your spots using a black color. So I'm not going all the way around, just certain areas around those pink spots. For my one stroke flower, I'm going to be using a flat tip brush. I'm going to be dipping my brush half in the darker tone purple and the other half in the lighter tone purple. And I'm just gonna go through my little plate a couple of times, just making sure that my brush is fully loaded. And this also helps there be a nice transition between the two tones. I'm gonna start my first flower petal over the side of my fingernail and I'm just dabbing little by little and at the same time, I'm rotating my arm very slightly so that this flower petal is a little bit rounded. Now for my second flower petal, I'm gonna do the same exact thing, just dabbing, dabbing. It's sort of like dabbing and dragging at the same time, but really slow, tiny movements. And I'm also rotating my hand again, little by little, making sure that this second flower petal is also a little bit rounded. And here you can see that it's a little more dramatic how I'm rotating my arm for the third flower petal. Now I'm just gonna go over each of the flower petals one more time so that the colors look a lot more vibrant. To start off my second row, I'm gonna do the same exact thing except these flower petals are gonna be a lot smaller. So I also wanna make sure that I don't go up so high that I'm painting over the dark purple section of the first line we made. So I'm just being very careful not to do that. So I'm just dabbing, dabbing, basically doing the same exact thing except these flower petals, like I said, are a lot smaller. Just like I did for my first row, I'm gonna be going over the second row one more time. Over the center of my flower, I'm gonna paint a half rounded green circle and I'm gonna add yellow dots to the center of my flower. And that's it, your last step is just to apply a top coat of your choice sealing in your design. I hope you guys like this design idea and give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.